Thomas Telford came to Shropshire in 1787. His first task was to renovate Shrewsby Castle for Sir William Pulteney, Member of Parliament for the town. He restored Henry III's Great Hall and added further small rooms. Shropshire offered every opportunity for study of bridge repair and construction because of the nature of its stretch of the River Severn. His first bridge over the Severn is at Montford and carries the old Hollyhead Road over the river four miles northwest of Shrewsbury. Telford and local ironmaster William Hazeldine produced a type of iron bridge for spanning no more than a hundred feet. The second construction was the 32-foot span of Cantlock Bridge, which crosses the Coon, a tributary of the Severn. The 1813 structure consists of castings incorporating ribs supported by spandrel frames and deck bearers in a grid-like pattern. Erected as a pair, the ribs join at the centre and rest on stone abutments. Telford's basic method of construction reverted to the Roman style of long, straight sections of level gradient. The roadway itself was laid on a solid pavement of close-set large stones, round or broad end downwards. The points were then broken off and a layer of smaller stones laid on top with gravel overall to bond. Perhaps the most important features of Telford's engineering skills in Shropshire are his canals. Instructed to improve routes and facilities on the country's existing network of waterways, he was also required to construct new links for industrial and commercial trade. <laughs> Two miles nearer to Market Drayton is a flight of five locks at Turley cut through solid rock to reach the summit pound, or reservoir. Most of Telford's locks are at the northern end, where the canal meets the Cheshire Plain. At Audlem, a flight of 15 lowers vessels 93 feet in one and a half miles. His first iron aqueduct at Longdon on Turn outside Telford town was a test bed for his subsequent masterpieces on the Ellesmere Canal. It is a structure of great importance in the history of technology. Built in 1796, it combined the forward thinking and practical skills of Telford and William Reynolds of Colebrookdale. But the most impressive of all Telford's aqueducts is a further step into Wales, a step worth taking. Pont Casulta sweeps across the Vale of Llangollen for a thousand and seven feet at a height of a hundred and twenty feet above the River Dee. 